Ukrainian president thinks Suicide Squad, great idea. How come DC Comics think that they can keep that to themselves? BBN Jack Frost. Mike, What's up, party people? I right, so yeah. So apparently, the Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky. I think I'm saying his name correctly. I hope that I am has said that the security of the nation comes first. This country, Ukraine, he's speaking of, needs all of its defenses in line. So he has agreed to release all prisoners that's gonna fight for the country. Okay. Now, just so it could be clear, there's a caveat, obviously. You have to have some type of training, I guess. So, I guess for the people who's locked up for, like, tax fraud and shit, they're like, come on, get out of here. And they're like, the, the dudes, <laughs> the dudes that, you know, uh, I guess, you know, you know. <laughs> it's like, come on, we're not letting you out. You're not fighting anything. What are you fighting? The wing when you walk? That's all you're fighting. That was just a cool summer breeze. How are you getting pulled back in the opposite direction? Get out of here. Anyway, they said that they are going to allow the individuals that have some kind of combat experience. So I'm assuming not just people who probably was in the military, but also we was you in the street fight. Get over here. Get on that line over there. We're giving all of y'all spinach. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Maybe they got some super soldier program going on, on, on over there. I have not the slightest idea. But they're going to be releasing the prisoners. And just so we can be clear, they're also saying that they're going to be lifting, like, you know, any uh, anything that they're prohibited from doing. What I want to know is, like, is this, this is real Suicide Squad shit, by the way. Are they taking years off? Like, if they're like, yo, if you go out there and and you're in the war and you know you do a certain amount of good you get a certain amount of years off of your time so that's gonna make these dudes go out there like i gotta catch 10 more bodies and i'm a free man i'm just curious <laughs> i mean this is morbid but i'm just curious like is that the the uh the criteria or is he just you know just grab a gun just even if you get killed we just need bantha fodder for everybody that don't know that's like bantha is this uh animal on um Star Wars and fodder would be a shit. So basically, if you're being the fodder, you're just like bullshit. Come on. <laughs> so they just need they just need people to stand in the front of bullets. If I don't know, I hope that's not the case. In any regard, um, besides this last ditch effort, it seems that's because that's what it would seem like, right? Um, to then go get I, what I want to know is how big is their prison system and how how quickly could, could they be mobilized? That's what I'm curious about. Also, would they run out of guns? Like, would they start having to give people, like, I don't know, bow and arrows or some shit? Or are they going to have to, like, <laughs> like, I'm laughing, but are they going to be out there with, like, Indiana Jones whips? <laughs> like, boomerangs? I want to know. You know, boomerang is actually a weapon, by the way. Um, are they going to be out there? It's a hunting tool. Are they going to be out there with, uh, you know, boomerangs and uh, Indiana Jones um <laughs> whips because they ran out of guns i'm curious in any regard um we're wishing uh the ukrainian people all of this is some real suicide squad shit you cannot doubt this like for real for real this is maybe that's when they came up with the decision he was busy at home watching hbo max and he was like <laughs> he was like you know this we need some of these peacemakers <laughs> this thing that they're doing that might work and this shit and then he just decided to do it who knows anyway um just so we could be clear, uh, he also sent a message to the Russian uh, military. He said, uh, basically, that this is a lot of propaganda. 
and that's being put on out there about what's actually happening in the war. And he's saying, and he's citing reports that more than 4,500 troops have already been killed during the Ukrainian conflict. I'm assuming he's saying troops in general. I don't think they mean troops just on one side alone. Um, he also he then goes on to say that they should abandon the equipment and, you know, get out of here. Get off my lawn, I guess. You know, get out of here. Don't believe your commanders. Don't believe your propagandists. Uh, just save your lives. That's why he's, he's I basically, he's just telling the Russians, like, he's like, yo, look, I'm a president, too. Like, pay attention. I'm a big homie hey, over here. Get out of here. Maybe that's what he's saying. I have no idea. Um, At ease. Then he, uh, he also uh, mentioned, by the way, uh, that he plans on trying to get into the European Union now. Apparently, uh, he's not, Ukraine isn't in anything. I guess they was just like, you know, doing this by themselves. They wasn't in anything. So uh, apparently now, um, they're thinking about, they, they're trying to figure out how to um, expedite the process to be, be into the uh, European Union so they can get some of the troops over there. Because remember when uh, 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 Putin was going on his uh, tirade and he was telling people what you better not do, he mentioned specifically the West. So I'm pretty sure he, uh, one of the main reasons why he probably didn't mention countries that were in Europe, because you know, he might be on the type of time where if you get involved in the conflict, he might just come invade your nation. Like, he might be on that type of time. That's why he was like, we can't invade all the way over there to America. So we're just gonna bomb their rat bastard asses. And stay out of here. Um, that might be it. He might be another get off my lawn guy. Who knows? Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about that. Um, do you think that's a good idea? Like, do you think there's gonna be, uh, like, they're gonna let, like, these dudes out of prison? And they're gonna be fighting somewhere, and then one guy's gonna die, and it's gonna be like the other guy's love all this shit. He's like, no! And he's like gonna go on like a Rambo assault, and like <laughs> just, you know, take down a whole uh, 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 regime by itself or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. For real, for real. Is that a good idea or is it a bad idea? Like, are they gonna send them out there with real weapons, or are they gonna have to make their own weapons? <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out.